Hi guys and girl. So you guys got a 16 out of 25 on your project planning sheet. Nothing to worry about. You just need to make some corrections and fix some stuff. This is a new project, so we're all learning what we're doing as we go along. And what I've realized from your, your project sheet is a couple of problems. One is that with your goals, I was looking for you to put the number of the actual UN sustainability goal. And what you did here looks like you got a little more specific, which is going to be good later, but not in this part of the sheet. So if you can go back to your original goals and put those in as both a number and maybe two or three words that explain the goal. So for example, I think um, access to safe water might be the goal that this came from originally. The South Asian haze sounds interesting, and it's a detail I'd like to hear about, but this is not the place for it, not on this sheet. So that's one thing you guys need to fix, and that's kind of a following directions thing. Okay, next up, with your point of view statement, first of all, it's nice to proofread. I know it's just a typo, and it doesn't seem like much, but it sort of makes me feel like you guys don't care about your work when you do stuff like that. I know it's hard when you're submitting stuff electronically, and I try not to be an ag, but I am pointing out it does annoy me a little. However, the bigger problem here is this is where I need details and you didn't give me any. So you said that your countries all need a way to create a more efficient and healthier way to grow crops. I need you to expand on this idea of efficiency. What do you mean by this? Are you saying that the way that people are growing crops in Haiti, Mali, Thailand, Madagascar, etc. is inefficient? If so, why? What's inefficient about it? I suspect that what you're getting at here is that they're using a lot of space, um, they have to actually put their crops down on land, and that your idea is going to allow them to grow vertically. Well, what what's the advantage to that? And is it the same advantage in all these different countries? Is there different reasons why this is going to work in Haiti and Mali and Thailand and Madagascar, Egypt and Tunisia? Because they're not all the same place, so you need to sort of get your point of view statement a little more specific. What's this efficiency that you're talking about? Same thing with healthier. I'm not sure I understand why crop growth in all these countries is unhealthy at present. So what I'm trying to get you to do is explain how this system is going to be better than the system you've already got. And to, do, and to explain that, I think you need to know a little more about what's going on in each of your countries. I know that um, in Haiti, for example, I can't remember which one of you has Haiti, but I know in Haiti they have a terrible soil erosion problem. So this vertical grow concept makes perfect sense in Haiti. They don't have good topsoil. It's all eroded away. So that solves that problem. Is it the same thing in Mali? Is it the same thing in Madagascar? Or are we trying to solve other problems there? It's okay to put them all into this one statement, but try and give me enough detail that I can understand what your real problems are that you're trying to solve with vertical grow. Okay, so your prototype drawing isn't bad. The problem that I have with it is if I hadn't already seen it, I don't think I would understand it. I, I know what this looks like because it's sitting in my classroom, so that helps me a lot. Um, I think what this really needs is a little more labeling and explanation. Um, up here, if I, I'm sorry, up here, if I'm remembering correctly, this is a sort of deep well that we can uh, put soil into or water or something in, right? Um, you might want to put some details about how deep it is. Um, and these, this says planks of wood, which is okay, um, but how tall are they? How wide are each of these sections? And what are you planning on using um, for soil? That's kind of important. Is it going to be the same in all of your countries? For your actual prototype, um, are you going to use the one that you already built? If so, what's the plan for actually planting stuff in it? What kind of seeds are you going to use? Do you need a grow light? Stuff like that. Okay, here's where the 10 higher level thinking points needs to come from. Your explanation of how your prototype is gonna meet the needs of your user. And again, your problem here is mainly that you don't have enough details for me to know how it's gonna meet the needs of your users. You have some here and there though, right? So let's see, we say our prototype, oops, wrong hour, you mean O-U-R, our prototype will meet the needs of our users and our goals by checking our needs. I don't know what that means. I'm not really sure that that means anything. It sounds like you just said, we're gonna meet our needs by meeting our needs, which is not really a useful sentence. 
all of our users need a safer and healthier way to grow crops. Again, so now we've changed from more efficient and healthier to safer and healthier. What is it you're trying to get at here? Or what is the, uh, you need a better way to grow crops, but what's the better way? Is it healthier? Is it less toxic doing it this way? Is it safer because why? I'm trying to imagine um, what's unsafe right now about how you're growing crops. Um, I think your main idea here was efficiency though, if I'm not mistaken. And then you said whether that's from keeping crops safe from erosion. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, there you go. See, there's a detail. Uh, droughts. Um, and then you just started to repeat yourself, making it more efficient. Our goal is, as a group, is to mostly to create a healthy, you're repeating yourself again, healthy, safe, efficient, right? Our prototype creates this opportunity with good water. What do you mean good water? Where I don't see any water in your prototype. Aren't we still going to get water the same place we were getting water before? Where are people going to get water that's different from how they're getting water now? This part is probably important, non-eroded soil. What are we going to use in this system for soil? Where are we going to get it from? If we're in Haiti, where all the soil has eroded away, are we going to actually just dig up some of the soil that isn't good soil to begin with and use it in that machine? Does that make sense? And again, I'm really not sure what we mean by the word safe. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that this is your opportunity. This paragraph here is your opportunity as a group to explain to me what you're really trying to accomplish here. And I think the problem is you're not really sure. I don't think you really know what it is you're trying to accomplish. So let me give you some, some clues and hints. The reason to use a vertical grow system, there are a lot of different reasons. One is to save on land space. You don't have a lot of arable land where you can grow stuff wherever you are. And so this saves you having to go, instead of going flat, you can go up. So you have less, it takes up less space. That's one reason to do it. Another reason to do it is that it does conserve water because you can control the environment much better. You can even bring it inside part of the day if you want to. You can keep it in a shady area when it's too hot, if it's mobile enough. Um, so it does tend to save water. You can also use non-soil substitutes in a vertical grow system. You can grow a lot of plants in just like plain sand and stuff like that. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different options. You can go on the internet and look at different vertical grow substrates is the word you're looking for. A substrate is a material that you grow something in. So what are some different substrates that you can grow different things in? Another reason to use vertical grow, and I think it comes is relates to your safety reason, um, is for protection of your crops, which might be vulnerable to the actual environment, right? Maybe it's hard to keep animals away. Maybe it's a common flood area. So if you're doing vertical grow and you're doing it in a more protected area, that can be a reason for doing it. So you need to really connect better to your real reasons for doing this. And I urge you to do this not just for this little piddly 25 point grade, but just so that your project as a whole comes out better. And also so that in world cultures, when you go to write about your needs of your country, you'll really understand what you're talking about. Because right now you're sort of in that place where you're not really sure what you're talking about and you need to get past that. You guys can redo and resubmit this um, 25 point uh, um, planning sheet. Sometimes I name things the dumbest things. Okay, so you're going to do <laughs> redo your 25 point planning sheet and resubmit it to me if you want. Or if you just want to move on, that's fine as well. Um, the next grade that you guys are going to turn in for me is actually an experiment template. You know, one of those sheets that I have that has hypothesis and rationale and independent and dependent variable. So I want you to start thinking ahead to that as well. So here's the question you want to start thinking about once you got your sheet in order. What variable do you want to change about your prototype? to see how that affects things. What are you gonna test about your system? Now you have to really think about this because you guys wanna grow stuff maybe. So if you are planning on actually growing stuff, um, the fastest growing plants I can get you take about two weeks to grow from seed. I would probably either get you radishes or mustard seeds. And I can do that if that's what you want me to do. But you need to plan, start planning an actual experiment. What is it that you wanna change in your prototype and what are you gonna measure? So the question is, how are you going to measure the success of your original prototype versus your redo of your prototype? And this is a really complicated question to ask because you could change a lot of things. You don't necessarily have to actually grow plants. Maybe you want to test 
the ability of your uh, system to retain water and not have the water evaporate too quickly. So if you were going to do that, you wouldn't necessarily need to plant anything in it. But this is something you want to talk over as a group, and that's going to be like the next step after you turn in your redone sheets. And when you get ready for that, you can come see me or call me over, and I'll sort of walk you through the experiment template process. Good luck, guys. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Already you have a fabulous starting prototype, so it's very exciting. See you guys in class.